let the 24 hour travel day begin. Oh my goodness, tomorrow we are officially flying to another country. Are we crazy? <laughs> we could be crazy right now. So today... What's the date? I don't know. Oh, the 1st of October. The Prime Minister... <laughs> are you going to do some baking? The Prime Minister of Australia just announced... And today we are taking another step forward, a very important step forward. From the 1st of December 2021, fully vaccinated eligible visa holders will be able to come to Australia without needing to apply for a travel exemption. But they've announced that they're going to be opening the borders of Australia. And so we just had a look and Qantas just opened up flights direct from Sydney to LA. And I think we're going to book flights and hope for the best. So we're crazy guys. We're We've crazy. been waiting for this moment for so long and they just announced, yeah, direct flights. And we're looking at the 1st of December, hoping borders are open by then. Because we really want our friends, the Good Friends the Good series in <laughs> to Canada. Meet to meet Hunter. We haven't seen them for two years. And so we're looking at maybe doing a two month trip over to the States and to Canada. Because... And Hunter will have a white Christmas. This is, I don't... And we, hey, <laughs> also, imagine having a baby so excited to fly with her and she will already be one and a half years old. And after two, you have to pay for their flights. I'm like, we have to so do we a have trip. To do a... We have to do a trip before she turns two. And I was like, do you know what? Let's just book flights and let's just choose the flexible cancellation. If yeah. it doesn't work out, but here is us on the 1st of October, fingers crossed that this day, in two months time, We'll oh, be yes. boarding a flight to LA. If we're not, you guys will never see this footage. But if we are, <laughs> Hunter, did you want to go have a white Christmas? <laughs> did you want to go and meet the Grim series? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're doing it. Wow, click these... it. Click the button. We have to tell him. So, Dad, click that button. <laughs> We haven't booked flights in so long, but these are the most expensive flights we have ever booked. It's got to be worth it though. This is all, it's called evening and out from not flying for the last two years. Exactly. Hunter, we're going on a holiday. Hunter, we're going on a holiday. It's also her nap time. I've been trying to entertain her. Okay. Oh, okay. Say, see you on the plane. All right. Click your fingers and we'll see you in exactly two months if it happens while well, Hunter's gonna look bigger. Bye! Okay, one, see two, two three, months. click! So tonight's actually our last night inside Cooper the van. Last night we stayed at the most beautiful little campground, but um, it was quite a mission getting in and I'm not even sure if Cooper's gonna get out. Yeah. <laughs> and so what day of the week is it? Is it Sunday? Yeah. It's baby Chino time, that's what it is. <laughs> He's wiggling. Oh no, no, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, luckily we can just change her in the van. And uh, yum! <laughs> so if you guys missed the last episode, we left Queensland and have made our way into New South Wales. We had a <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. We saved this absolutely beautiful farm and we were craving a coffee. We were just driving through a town and saw a local general store that was doing coffee and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad we stopped. We couldn't resist. Look at this. It's the size of your It's bigger than your head. <laughs> Guys, we haven't even been in New South Wales for 24 hours yet. And I think we've already fallen in love. It's a always been hiding the first time that I see inside it and realize hey, it's always been <laughs> it's a greeting pages and pages of stories oh, I think he wants us to throw the stick Hey, Bobby. Does Hunter want to throw the stick? Do you want to throw the stick, Hunter? 
You ready? Oh, ready. Uh, Hold the stick. And throw the stick. Throw it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hunter picked up a little stick. Yes, she got a little stick. She got a stick. <laughs> After five hours of driving, we have arrived on a little riverbank in Port Macquarie and we are staying on a farm. So they have dogs, they have cows, they have chickens, they have guinea pigs. I think Hunter is going to have the best afternoon. You ready, Hunter? And throw the stick! This is her buddy. When you're with me, I go to the schnoz, the schnoz might be you. Are you giving cuddles? You cuddles? Oh my goodness! That is the biggest pig I've ever seen in my life. That is a horse disguised as a pig. It's a baby puppy. Be gentle, remember? How do you be gentle? Oh, she's... <laughs> yeah, look, he wants to Oh, oh my goodness, you have to put a cuddle. Oh, good oh my goodness, he's a little puppy. <laughs> So, if you're new around here, we honestly haven't always just travelled around Australia. For the last five years, we have taken you all around the world. We've hiked to Machu Picchu, we've seen the pyramids of Egypt, and we've even flown in hot air balloons over Turkey. And then, of course, 2020 happened and Australia and most of the world went into a full lockdown. Like, we have not been able to leave Australia for almost two years. Like, it's illegal. <laughs> And um, something's changed a couple of weeks ago. And we may have done a thing. Click that button. <laughs> we have a book flight, it's so long. So this isn't us abandoning Cooper at the minute that the borders open. Even though it looks like that, we absolutely love van life. The past six months have been some of our favorite trips that we have ever done. But we have friends and family that don't live in Australia that have still not met Hunter. And we also miss them too. Yeah, and honestly, you know, travel, this is all amazing, but fr friends and family definitely come first, and especially when you have such a small child. <laughs> I know. And they grow so quickly, and they've already missed the first year and a half, and that's why we're flying out on one of the first flights. Also, we have found um, international travel is a lot more complicated these days, and we're gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to Intel for partnering up with us on this video to let you know about the Intel Evo platform, which helps power our day in between looking after Hunter, plus also for sending us out this HP Spectre X360 laptop. So by having an Intel Evo platform-based laptop, you don't have to compromise on power and battery life, especially if you want a nice thin laptop like this one and one that doesn't take up much space. As you guys know, having devices that are so nice and small is key to living inside of a tiny house. So I try and get as much work done in between Hunter's nap times. So having a device that has instant wake and fast charging is key so I can sit down, I can edit the vlogs coming up for the weekend. So living in a van and especially like tonight when we are completely off grid, having devices that have long lasting battery life is key to making sure that I can get all my work done and still keep in touch with friends and family. Oh, and speaking of being in touch, as we're currently in rural New South Wales, having a device that has Wi-Fi 6 built in, it means that Hunter doesn't have to compromise with keeping in touch with her grandparents. <laughs> we're gonna call me my granddad -o? Say hi, Grandad. She wants the dog back. 
Oh, here is the dog. Here is the dog. <laughs> so, if you guys are interested in picking up a laptop designed on the Intel Evo platform, I'll leave all the details linked in the description below. Welcome to the chaos that is Cooper the van. I'm about to attempt to pack for international travel, and it has been a while. Back in the day, Stephen and I used to travel with two suitcases, and we got it down to a T. We were so used to traveling minimalistically, and uh, ever since we had Hunter, I am now used to traveling in a suitcase that is six meters by two meters. And I now need to compact this back into those two suitcases that we traveled with all those years ago. And I don't think I'm as skilled as I used to be. All right, seeing as uh, Hunter's gonna be having her first white Christmas, this had to be done. All right, we've kept these suitcases right at the back of our van, just in case travel opened and we needed it and we didn't need to go buy a new bag. So we've been in Cooper for six months now. I think it's time to finally get these suitcases out. We also vacuum sealed some winter gear. Uh, we initially planned to do a snow trip here in Australia, but it did fall through. But at least we could still use it. This is exciting. I've secretly missed this suitcase, the adventures we've been on with it. Should we see what's inside? It's inside this. Should we knock on it? What's inside? Should I open it? We you grab your pig? Grab your pig. And Hunter, what does a pig say? That's her trying to go. She goes, <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. It's a bag within a bag. We got too many bags. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think Scooby can come with us, Hunter. <laughs> I love how we're currently doing this right at the front of a post office. You want to see what's inside, don't you? So we just got a bunch of things shipped to the post office. Stevie just picked it all up. She was like, you've been shopping. He was like, my wife's been shopping. But I had to because Hunter has no snowsuits, do you? Do you want to look, see what's inside? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is realities of trying to, she's in a cuddly mood. Side Hunter. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute, Steve. Seeing her engagement with this, I can't wait for Christmas. I know, well, this is her Christmas present. <laughs> we are not getting her presents after this. It's like we had to get her a whole new wardrobe. Oh this is adorable. Look at her snowsuit. Oh my gosh, Steve. Hunter, look, this is gonna be your little snowsuit. And you're gonna run around and play in the snow in it. It's the calm before the storm. Wait, it's the storm before the calm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I actually felt cold. <laughs> I think we need a fire this morning. You steal my breath, I get choked up. You see right through. I'm such a mess made for your love. I fold into you. It's only just us two. Every time I close my eyes, I'm dreaming of you, babe. The way you are, your patient heart, it always gives me grace. It's where I have Just put a billy on. Just put a billy of water on to boil up some. Just put a billy on. Just put a billy on boil to boil up some water so we can have a coffee this morning. And I'm thinking, our final morning. Maybe we'll fry up some eggs. <laughs> it doesn't get much more than farm today. We'll then walking across over there, picking up some fresh eggs and coming back to our fire to cook them.
dad been cooking up a storm. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. Is your dog here? Oh, I think he wants us to throw the stick. Ready? I've got the stick. I got the stick. I got the stick. I got the stick. <laughs> good morning, sweeties. You say good morning to them? They want to cuddle. <laughs> what a place to have our final morning in the van. This is so nice. So nice. I got your coffee. Stays more often. I know. She it's loves so it, good. especially if they've got doggies. Oh, thank you. Hunter, do you want some eggies? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you want to come sit in your seat? Oh, I'm looking at the turkey. Tell me about all the chickens here. Watch out, chickens are coming in. Chickens. <laughs> what are the chickens saying? Are they saying bok 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 bok? They're saying bok 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 bok. And three. And three. <laughs> She's just eating the bread. To Sydney! Who so is cool. on the Harbour Bridge? Oh, <laughs> the Opera House. I feel like such a tourist in our own country right now. This is so cool. Wow. Welcome to Sydney, everyone. We have one full day here and we still have so much to do. But of course, coming to the city, you can't miss out checking out the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. Plus, this is Hunter's first time in the city, so we've got to show her all the sights. Shade of a coolabar tree, and he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled. You come a waltz and Matilda with me, waltz and Matilda, Matilda, my darling. You come a waltz and Matilda with me, and he sang as he watched and waited ah, till his billy boiled. Ah, so travel, as we all expected, has completely changed. Going overseas is a little bit more complicated. There's a few steps. First one, we have to go and get a PCR test and it has to test negative. So we're just heading to the airport to get one done. Hunter, what does the train do? Choo -choo! I was waiting for that time. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, it's about 180 bucks a month to store Cooper, which is a lot, but also compared to the airport, it's airport was something like $700 a month. So this is a little bit outside of the city, but it should definitely do the job, especially um, to keep us going until next year. I think last night, because we were staying on the farm and we get into the city was way more crazy than we thought. Cooper's a little bit messy, but. <laughs> You know what, that's just a future Stephen and Jess problem to deal with. Not goodbye to Cooper. Just see you next time. All right, firstly, please don't ask me. I knew this was gonna happen. So please don't ask me why. Yes, do you want some sticker books? Don't ask me why our room has gotten so messy in the matter of a day or two. I have no idea and I need to pack. And uh, in our last video, we were sharing with you our nighttime routine and I warned you all about the witching hour. I feel like you didn't really get the witching hour in that video, but right now, um, welcome to the witching hour. It is the hour before Hunter goes to bed and uh, it's always the... Yeah, you want more, okay. That's, so we've taught her a little sign. So this is more and she wants more sticker book, but the issue is Hunter, you've used up all the stickers. <laughs> yeah, you're not on a bed. She just falls back. Who said on the jumper? Ready? Can you say ho ho ho? Merry Christmas! It's your Christmas jumper. If you guys were wondering, 
It's actually super easy to get your PCR test. So of course, when you're flying overseas, if you're Australian, you need to be double vaxxed and you need to make sure that you get a negative test 72 hours before you fly. Now, in Sydney, which currently is the only place you can leave Australia from, literally as you pull up into the airport, there's just a testing facility there. You can get a test that is turned around in one hour. So you could arrive four hours before your flight, knock out your test, check in three hours, and you're good to go. Of course, our flight isn't until tomorrow, so we just went for the one that gets it to you four hours later. It just sounded kind of scary getting it done so quick. I do trust them, but I don't know. First time you're doing it. Maybe we wanted to be a bit more cautious. But also, it's expensive. Like, now when you're flying, you have to get a PCR test before every flight. Yeah. But that's crazy. We had so, to pay for three. We had to pay for three. So 100 bucks for the four-hour test, 150 bucks for the one-hour test, and that is per person. As speaking of tests, just got our results back in. That was a scary text message. What is it? Negative. All three? All three. Yay! Oh my goodness, that means it's official. I was trying to not get my hopes up just in case. But we're good. <gasps> oh my goodness, tomorrow we are officially flying to another country. Wow, I don't think it's hit me. I don't think it's hit me yet at all. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it just happened so quickly from the press conference to booking it. It just was a lightning in a bottle. <laughs> oh my goodness, Hunter. I like. <laughs> Hunter, you don't even know what's going to hit you. Hunter, you need to go to bed. It's jet lag. It's oh, jet lag. No jet lag. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> Let the 24 hour travel day begin. Alrighty guys, next up is 